Hi Pisces, this is your reading for the 24th to the 30th of January 2022. And I hope you will enjoy the reading. So let's go to the reading. If you want to know, or would like to know your energy and characteristics, what is happening in Pisces, then please go to the reading for the energy of the zodiac. And also, I hope you enjoy it. There is also a little reading with for the full moon. We have had the full moon on uh, the 18th, but the light of the full moon will be the brightest until the end of Wednesday. I'm using the mystical moment tarot and the dream catchers. Whilst I'm talking to you, about with the mystical moments, I'm shaking the next card. The overall energy, <coughs> excuse me, is the emperor, and the emperor represents a professional person that gives advice and municipalities, governmental institutions, other institutions, and of course, Aries. So you could be meeting an Aries, and you could be, or you could be dealing with an Aries. This person. You can either get a professional, like I said, or you can get somebody that you respect, love and trust. Ask for advice. That's the all over energy. The all over energy is the three of cups. The three of cups means reunion and celebrations with family and friends. Also, you come in with the six of wands. You have honey coming into your life. Look at the hummingbird getting the nectar, the honey. You have victory. You have um, recognition. You have wow, a wow moment or a harm, a harm moment on Monday, Monday the 24th. You will also be going on to the next level in relationships or in career or romance, um, perhaps in Friendships. A friendship could be turning into a special re friendship or relationship. Also, you could be moving home or you could be moving your business. You could also be traveling and for work or going on holiday. Um, this is a beautiful card to have. You're going onwards and upwards with a beautiful support in your back with recognition from family and friends. Also, six means balance. You are in your balance. The pieces of puzzle are going to fall into place. Talking about balance, you will be in balance. Look how that honey bird is hovering and he is in balance. He goes dead center. He goes for the bullseye, the sugar, the nectar to enhance his life. You are enhancing your life either with going on to the next level with your partner in business or in crime, as they say, or in love. The pieces of puzzle are coming together. Here you see no face, no, only a shadow of a person, a hand reaching out for yours. So perhaps you could be getting an offer. Conference also represents Sagittarius, so you might have a Sagittarius that you're partnering up with. That is a fire sign. Now know your boundaries, Pisces. I know that the fish don't know their boundaries because they're basically so free in giving their attention, their love, their help, their support. Think about yourself first and love yourself first before you can think of anybody else or love anybody else. That will stand you in good stead. That will bring you back victory time and time again. Also, temperance means balance. Trying to find balance between heart and soul, heart and mind, or work and home front. Make sure that you are balanced if you're going into this relationship by letting your boundaries be known to them and knowing their boundaries. Having respect for each other, the word respect is absolutely imperative in loving relationships and partnerships, whether in romance or in career. 
If you can maintain the balance, you can also maintain the balance in your mood and that of your partner. You've got the star card, a goal or a wish coming through. You're dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, and we are in Aquarius. So your dream could be coming true in Aquarius. You've got a six again, a six of swords, moving away from hard times, rough water, rough times. You're going into smoother water, wider times, gentler times, more loving and fun times. Especially if you are together, because together you stand strong. Not only that, but you could be going on holiday. You could be going, no, not only on holiday, but you could also be moving the business to bigger premises, expansion, if that is your wish. Or you could be moving home. Beautiful card. You could be crossing water. And here you can see the peacock feathers. Life is going to be voluptuous, like as rich as the peacock. Also, um, she's flying over land. Usually it is a ship that is crossing water. So you could be going across land, if not water. You also see that there is a little bit of a lake here. So you will be coming to a peaceful and a beautiful shoreline. You hold the key to your magic, your life path, as you've got the magician. New beginnings. New beginnings, what? With the Six of Swords, definitely. With the Six of Wands, also other different, different new beginnings going on to the next level. If you're engaged, you could be getting married. If you're married, you could be starting a family. You could be finding out you're pregnant. And definitely a transformational time. Look at the beautiful butterfly. That means transformation. And the swan, you will be together for life. Or in in any event, for a long, long time, magic is in the air. This relationship or this partnership that you're going to form is definitely awesome. The sun is shining on you. You saw me putting the cards out on the table. You saw me shaking them or shuffling them. I didn't sort them out. And this is always what I do. I shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. And when they fly out, that's the card I grab. Magic is in the air, you're the sunshine in their eyes, and they are your sunshine, the apple of your eyes. The magician represents Gemini, so we've got Aquarius and Gemini here, so quite a lot of air signs. Also, this is such a happy reading, many happy cards. You Again, time is fertile to start a family, you might be finding out you're pregnant, you, you could be hearing of a birth if you're too mature to get pregnant, or of a project, or of a child. Again, moving home, moving in together, partnering up, going on to the next level in romance or career, or moving the business, or going on holiday to a warm country. Awesome. The sun represents Leo. Again, the sun is a spotlight. Where there is a spotlight, there is illumination. Illumination means... You need to do more research to find the answers to a question or a situation at hand. Money is coming into you. Money is not going to be a problem or a worry anymore. Since you've got the Ten of Pentacles, endings, new beginnings, expansion of the family, reunion with family and friends, celebrations, get, getting together, cruising up the home, expanding the home, expanding the family, either with a child or with a pet, this could be expansion that the in-laws or your father and mother could be moving in and living with you, especially because a lot of people are doing that because of the COVID, they want to be close to their family. They don't want to be separated, they want to be one unit. Again, there is an ending, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Again, marriage, holidays, you will have the money to do all that. You've got the Knight of Wands. Wow, you are moving. There's so many cards saying that you're moving. Moving, moving, a wish could be moving. The Six of Swords is saying moving. And the Knight of Wands is the only knight that represents a move of the home. Also an opportunity besides news. 
make sure you know what is happening around you, be focused on what is happening around you, not be lost in front of you. Now, this night represents Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So again, Leo could be quite prominent because the Sun card is lying next to it. Or Aries, because we've got the um, Emperor uh, lying quite near this card as well. The Oracle card that I have for you, that is number 50. 50 that becomes, becomes a 5, so you might be feeling out of sorts, but you're moving from a 5 to a 6, to two 6s. Wow. And you're going down to, um, let me see. Um, well, I thought we had an 8. I thought we had an 8. Sorry about that. I thought we had the eight. So five, six, yes, we've got the eight. No, it's not an eight. Five and six. Anyway, you're going from being in unbalance to balance. And you've got number 50. So that is quite a, a significant number because it, I call that a crown number. Okay. So it's an important number, 50. So Let's have a look at what number 50 is. Angel of Strength. Strength is also represented by Lion. Leo is prominent. Sun is Leo. So here we go. Personal power and inner strength. This amazing angel brings you the news that this is the time for increasing power for you. It is not the time to be passive and submissive. But speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny. For the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and you are on your way and on your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. No wish. Wow. This, like I said, you can make your dreams happen. You hold the key in your hand. You can close the door to positive negativity. Yeah, also, you can close the door on positivity if you don't want positiveness. But you hold the key. So be transparent, be clear, do what you say and say what you do. And don't let your heart rule your mind and your mind your heart. Find the balance between your heart and your mind. I think this is the best reading yet. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care, stay safe and please like, subscribe and hit that bell. If you don't want to be notified, hit it on private. Once we reach the, the, the 3,000, I will hold that special evening and I'll answer anybody's question with four cards. i see you then. Please follow me on TikTok, Instagram and on YouTube. Thank you.